outcome of the investigation and everything. But I think like automatically blaming. Oh man, I have a perfect segue for Ethan's topic here, but I'm going to go the other direction. Um, I think with technology, a lot of it's just like, okay, this is a good technology. It's still in development and other technology kind of has a Jurassic Park vibe to it, right? Like just because we should, does it mean we can? And we see, we've seen that a lot with uh, recently uh, U.S. and Chinese scientists have developed a uh, m- monkey embryo with human stem cells uh, injected in it. Supposedly, this study is supposed to, they only let the embryo age to um, 20 days. So there's no nervous system and it's not implanted into a monkey uterus um, and there's no plans for that. But Basically, what they want to do is it's going to help advance the study to um, manufacture organs in sheep and pigs for humans. Um, So this study will help them understand what the reaction is. And let me tell you, my first reaction after hearing this was like, absolutely not. This is Planet of the Apes, like about to happen. And I don't want it to happen. Um, But I do think that the (laughs) I do think that the ultimate goal is (laughs) <laughs> to further further along our research and horizon, me as a non-American listening to U.S. politics she, now. <laughs> pixel Bob. <laughs> so, I'll pass the question off to you guys. What do you think about this? COVID. All I gotta say. The leading, one of the leading theories that COVID rose from a Chinese lab that was doing gain-of-function research and it accidentally leaked out, and look where we are now. Do we really want to keep trying to play God? We're going to... What's the benefit? Really? You know, vanity? Just so that you could live a little bit longer? It's... I don't know. I I think it's just crossing a moral line, and I can't get behind it. I see I that. With that. Planet of the Apes all over again. I mean, NJ said it best. Just because <laughs> we should doesn't mean we can. Yeah. yeah. Art, wait. That didn't sound right. Just because we can doesn't mean no, we you should. Were right. There we go. What was I? <laughs> it was the same same. Oh, but yeah. Same, same. Yeah, yeah, same same. Just just because we should doesn't mean we can. Hello, <laughs> uh, Thunderhead. Yeah, right. And that was kind of my thought process too. Like. We have mm-hmm. basically what they created was a chimera. Um, and we've created chimeras in the past before, like scientists have. Mm-hmm. Um, we've cloned yeah. sheep before and pigs, and there was even a successful um, uh, embryo grown, and there was actually twins in a lab in China. Um, mm-hmm. I personally, like on a moral scale, like to me, that's that's a line you don't cross. Yeah. But at the same time, like I'm not a scientist that devoted my whole life's work to this, you know, to making human life easier and making sure trans trans uh, transplant lists are not as dire or, you know, they don't have the ability to get an organ that they need just because, you know, their body didn't create enough something, you know, like who am I to decide that too? So I'm, I feel conflicted. So I can be sassy and be like, well, at least this will. So if they start doing this, would that shut down their concentration camps where they're harvesting organs? You mean the yeah Uru um, Muslims? Yeah, where they where Uru. they filmed Mulan the movie. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't hear about that. It's, it's so they're farming that organs. It's believed that that's what they're doing. Uh, there's no. And no, all satellite that, that images is, is outdated and they can't fly satellites over or else it's like a little spark outrage. It's it's a big thing. So what are they hiding? Hmm? If if they're going through that too that much to cover it up, that just proves that it's correct. Well, you know that we don't even know what happened to the twins that were born. Like NJ said yeah. that the Chinese said that they were able to successfully grow twins. I they think don't the exist. last time we heard the last time we heard about them, I think they were like eight years old. And they would be, I think, about 12 or 15 now. Mm-hmm. Um, and they have no idea where they're at, if they're still alive. Which is crazy to me. Like, I don't know. Like, science is awesome. I love science. But there's like that scary 
experiment science that feels a little too Frankenstein for me, and I just I personally can't get behind it. Yeah, yeah. There's a certain line that you don't cross, and I think this is definitely crossing it. The beginning of a bad sci-fi book. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. an exact organ clone. I mean, that but cool. why would you? So, I mean, just throw it out there. If say you get colon cancer, right? Mm-hmm. Why would you want to clone your colon? Because you already know it's prone to cancer. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that's just, that seems a little weird. We just need pain, I, pain nanites. That's all we need. <laughs> I just, I've never, I've never gotten behind the, you know, DNA splicing or the stitchers or I, yeah. I, just, I don't get, I, I think we're trying to play God and that can only end in one way. It's like the movie Gattaca. Yeah. Like you're going to build all this Same prejudice movie. towards people who are impure. And I, yeah, I'm not a born. Authentically I'm not about born. That. Yeah. <laughs> authentically born. But. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy stuff.